Yali Madad and Khushamadeed. My name is Iram Fatma and I am pleased to be your host today. I am coming to you from Gilgit where Prince Rahim Aga Khan recently visited as part of a five-day trip to Pakistan. Last Friday in Islamabad, Prince Rahim received the Nishane Pakistan, the nation's highest civilian award. The award recognizes individuals who have rendered services of the highest distinction to Pakistan and was presented by President Asif Ali Zardari at Evane Sado, the President's official residence. The award citation acknowledged Prince Rahim's role as Chair of the Executive Committee of the Aga Khan Fund for Economic Development and Chair of the Aga Khan Development Network's Environment and Climate Committee. His personal contributions in the initiatives being undertaken in the fields of the economic, health, education, and cultural well-being of the poor and marginalized communities respond to their evolving and contemporary needs. He upholds a multi-generational legacy that traces its origins to the founding of the nation. At an institutional dinner hosted by the Ismaili Council for Pakistan, Prince Rahim spoke about the award. I receive it uh, not for myself, but for all of you and for all of our colleagues in the AKDN, for our Jamaat, um, for our donors, and for our volunteers who have worked so brilliantly over the decades to improve the quality of life. Moulana Hazir Imam received the same award in 1983 for his social and economic welfare activities in Pakistan, in the Muslim Ummah as a whole, and in the developing world. During his time in Pakistan, Prince Rahim met with various government officials including the President of Pakistan, Asif Ali Zardari, the Prime Minister of Pakistan, Shahbaz Sharif, the Governor of Gilgit Baltistan, Sayyid Mehdi Shah, the Governor of Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Faisal Karim Kundi, and the Chief Minister of Gilgit Baltistan, Gulbar Khan, to discuss matters of mutual interest and the work of Akkadian in the country. Prince Rahim also reviewed various Akkadian projects in the areas of renewable energy, tourism, microfinance, and information technology. This included attending the inauguration of the state-of-the-art software technology park in Nasrabad Hunza, which will provide its patrons access to a high-speed internet facility, uninterrupted power supply, and co-working spaces. The park is a combined initiative between the Aga Khan Foundation and the Spatial Communications Organization of the Government of Pakistan, and will help boost digital opportunities to address youth unemployment in the area. It will be a central resource as part of a hub and sports model, whereby this facility will be linked with several other IT parks in more remote areas of the region. Also in Hunza, Prince Rahim visited Duikar Solar Power Plant, where he unveiled a plaque commemorating the start of work on phase two of the plant. Phase 1 of this project was commissioned in November 2023 and has been supplying power to over 11,000 people or 24% of central Hunza. Phase 2 of this project includes plans to expand the existing plant capacity and battery storage and improve power provision to an additional 18% of the central Hunza population. Following his visit to Duikar, Prince Rahim stopped by the Altit Fort. The 800-year-old fort, built by the ruling family of Hunza, has been restored by the Aga Khan Cultural Services Pakistan and is now a major attraction for tourists. Prince Rahim walked through the surrounding streets, another opportunity to meet members of the Jamaat and Ismaili volunteers. At his final stop in Hunza, Prince Rahim visited the newly constructed Hunza Serena Hotel and planted a tree to celebrate the completion of the construction. The new Serena Hotel, the first five-star hotel in Hunza, provided employment for over 600 workers during construction, including women from Shrikam, a social enterprise that trains women in carpentry. The Hunza Serena is the second Serena Hotel in the country to have its own sewage recycling plant which will significantly reduce wastage. In Gilgit, Prince Rahim attended the inauguration of the new regional headquarters of HBL Microfinance Bank. 
The building marks a significant achievement in green building practices with 40% on-site energy savings, reflecting a major stride towards the carbon neutral future. It is the first building in the Acadian to receive both the LEED Gold certification from the US Green Building Council and the EDGE Advanced certification granted by the International Finance Corporation. This dedication to sustainable design and community engagement sets the Gilgit Regional Headquarters apart as symbol of HBL Microfinance Bank's drive towards excellence and its role in developing a green Pakistan. While in Pakistan, Prince Rahim had a number of meetings with leaders of various Acadian agencies and cross-section of the Jamaat, from youth to step teachers to elderly and more. He also met with many from the Jamaat and Acadian at an institutional dinner. As you know, agencies and institutions of Aga Khan Development Network have been working and the Imamat have been working in Pakistan for more than 120 years. And this work, as we know, is driven by the vision of our Imam, which over the last seven decades at least has achieved things and achieved heights which simply seemed impossible at the time. We feel the presence of our Imam amongst us every single day. And today, uh, when we see the, the impact of this work, uh, we can see that this is his gift to this country, of our, our land, Pakistan, and it continues to benefit the people of Pakistan and inshallah will continue to do so for decades to come. Hazra Imam, my father, will be very happy to hear about the progress uh, being made here. And of course, he'll be interested to hear about the challenges that we still face, because of course, uh, there are always challenges. But uh, for myself, I'm very much looking forward to continuing uh, the work with the institutions uh, to continue to try and improve quality of life for the Jamaat in Pakistan and all the communities in which it lives. My thanks to our volunteers and to their families um, for their generous uh, contribution of time and knowledge and resources. I'm, I'm, I'm honored to be here and I'm grateful. Thank you. Thank you very much. As a girl born in northern Pakistan, I have seen the impact of the work that Prince Rahim referred to firsthand. I grew up in a family deeply rooted in the teachings of our beloved Imam. I attended the Diamond Jubilee School in Khanabad, Hunza, and then I went to Aga Khan Higher Secondary School, Hunza. I went to Qaeda Azam University in Islamabad, and now I'm back in the region, working with Accelerate Prosperity, an initiative of Acadian. The opportunities I have had, and many of my peers have had, is thanks to Acadian. Just a few generations ago, my grandparents didn't have access to any of this. The institutions created by our beloved Imam have made a major difference to the lives of so many in this region. My journey from childhood to now has been closely linked to Acadian, and I take great pride in that. It has been my pleasure to be your host today. Thank you and Yali Madad. <laughs>